In this guide to the LFO view, we'll show you how you can adjust the LFO's parameters, assign modulation to different targets, modulate effect parameters, and set up MIDI controller to LFO modulation. Let's create a new patch so we can see the LFOs in their default state. To do this, we click the menu button and select New Sound. In the LFO view, we can see that the instrument features three identical LFOs. The first one is activated by default, so let's use it to affect the sound, which at the moment is just a sine oscillator. In the modulation panel, we can see what the LFO is routed to, its target, and the modulation amount. So if we turn up the modulation amount of the pitch routing, we'll start to hear the LFO modulate the pitch. We can hear the effect this has on the output very easily, and we can get a different feel by changing the LFO settings. Let's speed the LFO up by turning down how many seconds each cycle takes. We can also set the LFO to beats mode, which is useful when you want to sync modulation to your project tempo. With a longer cycle time, we can more clearly hear the effect that the phase parameter has. It sets which part of the waveform the LFO starts from. Activating the sample and hold button means that the LFO's value will be sampled and held at the rate indicated by the seconds parameter. We can change the waveform of the LFO by clicking on the waveform name and choosing a new shape. Currently LFO1 is set to modulate the pitch of every channel, A, B and C. If you want to turn off the routing to a particular channel, we can turn it off by clicking it to deactivate it here. The inversion switch inverts the polarity of the waveform for this routing. The three LFO targets under the pitch are assignable, which means you can pick a modulation destination. So if we have a sawtooth oscillator with a filter insert, we can select the filter cutoff frequency, turn up the modulation amount, and we'll hear the LFO move the filter cutoff frequency. The LFOs are set to polyphonic mode by default, which means that each note has its own LFO. This allows us to create rhythmic interplay by playing notes offset from each other. If we put an LFO into mono mode, then every note will use the same LFO source. Each LFO also features an effect modulation destination. So if we select the pipe effect and modulate the effect master time, we get something similar to a flanging effect. We can also modulate the pan position with a pan amount. In the controller panel, we can set up ways for MIDI controllers to affect the LFO. Here you'll find assignable sources for LFO depth, LFO rate, and sample and hold rate. If we set the LFO rate to mod wheel and the modulation amount to 100, we can control the LFO rate with the mod wheel. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other Absinthe 6 videos in this playlist.